Russia lost 16,000 armored fighting vehicles in Ukraine. Russia continues to pay a high cost in personnel and equipment in its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to Kyiv's latest figures, which have marked a grim milestone in losses of armored protected stroke fighting vehicles, according to Newsweek. Ukraine's general staff said that Russia lost 16,000 armored fighting vehicles since the start of the war on February the 24th, 2022. Precise figures of losses are difficult to discern, with both sides keen to keep the real totals under wraps. Newsweek has contacted the Russian Defense Ministry for comment about the figures, which Kiev describes as very approximate. Newsweek says that in recent months, April the 4th, 2024, saw the highest daily losses of the vehicles. This total excludes main battle tanks, but includes armored cars, assault guns, self-propelled artilleries, infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. The figures from Ukraine's general staff put the monthly total of losses in May at 880, which was the highest since the record month of 889 in March 2022 at the start of the war. The highest daily total overall in the war was 96 APVs on March the 15th, 2022. The tally by the Dutch open source intelligence defense analysis website Oryx, which uses video or still imagery as evidence, put the tally of APV losses at 1,474. Of these, 1,067 were destroyed, 36 were damaged, 100 were abandoned, and 271 were captured. More than half of these were MTLB, Soviet-era amphibious tracked armored fighting vehicles. Given the standard of evidence required, Oryx says that the amount of Russian equipment destroyed is significantly higher than recorded here. Meanwhile, Russia continues to suffer high troop losses in Ukraine, with Kyiv's figures on Tuesday listing that there had been 1,220 casualties the previous day, which includes those both killed and injured. It takes Kyiv's tally of Russian troop losses to 568,980 since the start of the war. Russian army casualties are said to have risen sharply in recent months amid a failed, renewed Russian offensive in the northeast of the Kharkiv region. The bodies of 18 out of the 19 people on board a Kathmandu flight were recovered after the plane crashed at a Nepal airport, the country's civil aviation authority said. The passengers, comprising two crew and 17 of Soria airline staff, were on board the Pakra-bound plane when it caught on fire, Nepali police spokesman Dan Bahadur Karki told news agency AFP. The pilot has been rescued and is being treated, he added. 18 bodies have been recovered, including one foreigner. We are in the process of taking them for post-mortem. The flight was being conducted for either technical or maintenance purposes, Gyanendra Bull of Nepal's Civil Aviation Authority told AFP without giving further details. Bahadur and Bull were unable to confirm the nationality of the sole foreigner aboard. Images of the aftermath shared by Nepal's military showed the plane's fuselage split apart and burnt to a husk. Around a dozen soldiers in camouflage were standing on top of the wreckage with the surrounding earth coated in fire retardant. The flight was being conducted for either technical or maintenance purposes. The pilot of the aircraft has been taken to a hospital, a security official deployed at the airport told news agency PTI. News portal Kabrahub reported that the airplane had caught fire after skidding on the runway. The plane was scheduled to fly on Nepal's busiest air route between Kathmandu and Pakra, an important tourism hub in the Himalayan Republic. Soria Airlines exclusively flies Bombardier CRJ-200 jets, according to its website. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bottom of 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 the bott